Hey, what's going on everyone? The CrossFit Games are coming, they're so close. Uh, when we're shooting this video, Dave Castro just uh, announced Individual Event 2, which is 30 muscle ups for time. I'm sure there's gonna be some type of twist to it where maybe after the bike event, you have a set number of minutes before you have to start the muscle ups. The table will be weighted. Someone on Reddit posted doing a muscle up biathlon over or with water. So every time you break and learn 30 muscle ups, you have to go swim. That'd be kind of interesting, a lot of interference there. But uh, we were talking about it, maybe some surprises are gonna happen this year. Top three for the guys, most people are gonna say, hey, Matt Frazier, Fikowski, Bellner's in there. Um, I think there might be a couple of surprise people this year. Uh, I think Noah Olsen has learned enough lessons where even last year with that blow up during the overhead squat workout, he still came in, well, was fifth before Richard Gerrard got bounced out. He came in fourth overall. And I think he's being a lot quieter when it comes to like his own capabilities and maybe he's been humbled enough and he's learned a lot now that he's with Training Think Tank that you might see him be able to get onto that podium. I think he might be a surprise. Uh, the other surprise person I think is Cole Sager. He's been slowly chipping away at weaknesses. He looked really, really good at regionals and his mindset's always so strong. And I think those two guys, Noah Olsen and Cole Sager, don't surprise some people are regionals. Now when it comes to the ladies for the top three, um, I don't think Tia Claire Toomey's gonna win. Uh, I don't know who's gonna win, but I don't think it's gonna be Tia. I think she will be on the podium, but I just it's been so close year after year, and Kara Webb is right there, and watching all the behind the scenes and last year's games, mentally what Kara was going through, how strong she is physically, how well put together she is physically now, um, I think that mental game and her confidence in herself is to the point where I think Kara and I also think that she's angry enough after coming in second place by just this much that uh, she's only really motivated to take that top podium spot. Now, as far as some surprises, I think one of the big surprises to look at is going to be Jamie Green. I think she's going to be one of those next big names uh, besides Andy Thor's daughter, Katrin Davis' daughter, stuff like that. I think Jamie Green is going to be one of those names to watch out for and be able to sneak onto the podium, maybe surprise some people. Um, as far as Katrin, I'd love to see Katrin back on top of the podium since I am a big Comp Train and Ben Bergeron fan but I'm just not sure what's gonna happen. Andy Thorzer looks so strong. Sarah Simmons' daughter has a new coaching team, is looking better than ever. Um, in the past, I've said that Sarah would never make it onto the podium. She was one of those people that's right there, like she was on the podium before, but not the podium before again. This year, she looks unstoppable, and people doing the videos with her say she just looks better than ever. So I think some of my surprise people to watch out for for the guys is Noah Olsen and Cole Sager. Um, and then for the ladies, I think everyone should keep an eye on Jamie Green. Um, as well as, people are talking about Brooke Wells, but those handstand push-ups, who knows. So again, my surprise people, Noah Olsen, Cole Sager, and then Jamie Green for the ladies. So I want to hear who you think is going to win the CrossFit Games. Where are your top three guys and girls you think are going to make it this year? Talk to you soon.